These students came from India to Vancouver to study finance. Perhaps their toughest lesson? Making ends meet. You have to do everything on your own. You have to study, you have to pay the fees, you have to pay the bills. And as inflation is going, it's kind of hard. For many, expectations don't match reality. So the federal government is changing the rules. For the last two decades, international students had to prove they had 10 grand in the bank to get a study permit. Starting next year, that number will double to $20,635. I think, you know, while it reduces a significant number of international students that we're probably going to see uh, come to Canada, I think, uh, it, you know, it's, this, is, this is a good step towards transparency. There are more than 800,000 international students in Canada, a number that's increased dramatically over the last decade as cash-strapped universities seek lucrative foreign tuition. But governments say some recruiters from private colleges are lying about the education students are getting and the real costs of living here. The federal minister of immigration is now threatening to reduce student visas if provinces don't crack down on shady operators. In provinces, the diploma equivalent of puppy mills that are just churning out diplomas. Uh, and this is not a legitimate student experience. There is fraud and abuse, and it needs to end. BC's post-secondary education minister is promising changes. They're misrepresenting their product, and, and we need to address that. One way a student can help make ends meet is to get a job. Officially, the number of hours an international student can work is limited to 20 a week. The federal government says it's reviewing that. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Vancouver.